in a school allow Black Lives Matter signs on campus while banning signs that say Blue Lives Matter. It's all happening in one school district, and now parents are suing. We'll tell you all about it. Our legal eagles dive into night court. You're the jury next. Time now for night court. A Minnesota school district facing legal trouble tonight for allowing Black Lives Matter signs on school grounds while banning other signs. The lawsuit filed by a group of Native American and white parents of multiracial students argues the school will not allow all Lives Matter or Blue Lives Matter signs because they say it discounts the BLM message. The school says it welcomes all perspectives. The parents claim, though, that the school is engaging in viewpoint discrimination. Our experts of the law are here to weigh in. Attorneys Ethan Behrman and David Bruno, welcome back, guys. Hello, Shannon. Hey, Shannon. Okay, Exhibit A, let's start there. A statement from one of the plaintiffs in the case says this, Black Lives Matter, of course, but so do all other human lives. Posting BLM signs and disallowing all Lives Matter signs is political speech or viewpoint discrimination. Discriminating against or demeaning any race is not neutral and is wrong. Ethan. Well, I mean, it's not viewpoint discrimination here because this is this fails the public forum doctrine. So I, I don't think that it's going to hold up under that argument. Um, if this was a public space that was a bulletin board, they would not be able to to do that. The school put this up under pedagogical reasons, which is protected under the Supreme Court decision of Hazelwood from 1988 that clearly states the school can make decisions like this for pedagogical reasons. So, I, I mean, the other argument that they're, they're going to fail with here is we do have things like Black History Month where we talk about that. That's not viewpoint discrimination. It's part of the education process. The school has the power to make this decision for what they put up in the hallways for the students. Okay, Exhibit B, this is a statement from the school, says, we believe that each and every student has a state constitutional right to a public education that is equal, equitable, equitable and free of racism and harassment, we welcome all students and all perspectives. David. Yeah, sure. It's it's one thing to say. It's another thing to do it. I mean, here we're guided by a 1995 United States Supreme Court case, uh, Rosenberg versus United, uh, University of Virginia. And it says that viewpoint discrimination is when a government targets not subject matter, but a particular view taken by the speakers on the subject. Here, the district made two mistakes. First, under the art, it has a statement that says that the school, we believe in Black Lives Matter and stands for the social justice statement that the artwork represented. So right there, I think it gets over that hurdle that Ethan just brought up because they have adopted the language in it. And the second mistake was that when there were inquiries about putting the uh, All Lives Matter or the Black Lives or, or the Blue Lives Matter, the school board took a position and said no. It said that these are opposition views. Now, I disagree that they're opposition views. I stand for them all. Black lives, blue lives, all lives matter personally. But the school board said that they're opposing views. Mm -hmm. That's where they're going to have a problem. They adopted it, and then they uh, prohibited the opposing view. Okay, Exhibit C, the plaintiffs, this is part of their complaint as well, say it's viewpoint discrimination violates the First Amendment, creates a hostile educational environment for students. Plaintiffs seek an end to the discriminatory practice. I will give you both 20 seconds to make your final arguments, Ethan and then David. Yeah, it's not discriminatory to teach accurate aspects of uh, American history that have been neglected for many years. And so schools now are trying to cover those subjects that maybe haven't been heard by the people who are suing here in their upbringing. That's David. Thank you. <laughs> I disagree with the civil rights aspect of it. I do not agree with the plaintiffs on the count two or three. Um, it's a very different legal issue. I agree with count one, not that this is a civil rights violation. Okay, again, the school uh, allowing and putting up signs for Black Lives Matter. The plaintiffs say they were not allowed to put up All Lives Matter or Blue Lives Matter. We will follow this. It's a live controversy and lawsuit. We've had our legal experts weigh in. Ethan and David, thank you very much. Pleasure, Shannon. Thanks, thank Shannon. you. Okay, some good